Welcome to Grab Safety Training! Ating alamin ang mga tamang alituntunin at batas trapiko upang manatiling laging ligtas sa daan. Ano nga ba ang Grab Safety Policy? Ang safety ay isang pangunahing sangkap sa matagumpay na operasyon ng Grab sa anim na bansa sa Southeast Asia. Naniniwala at nagsusumikap ang Grab sa ligtas na operasyon na higit na mataas sa itinakdang pamantayan ng industriya at alituntunin ng regulatory board upang higit pang maproteksyonan at itaguyod ang kaligtasan at kapakanan ng aming mga empleyado, kontratista, customer at ang komunidad kung saan kami naglilingkot dahil ito ang nararapat at tamang gawin. Ayon sa World Health Organization Road Safety Report noong 2015, naitala na mayroong 10,379 na kaso ng pagkamatay dulot ng aksidente sa daan, subalit 1,513 lamang dito ang nai-report. Sa kabuang datos ng road traffic deaths sa Pilipinas, 14% ito ay driver, samantalang 11% naman ay pawang mga pasahero. Ayon sa PNP, mayroon 15,292 motor vehicles ang na-involve sa aksidente noong 2015. 6,157 ito ay pangkaraniwang kotse, samantalang 4,229 naman ay mga motorsiklo. 90% na aksidente sa daan ay nagmula sa pagkakamali ng tao o tinatawag nating human error. Paano nga ba maging ligtas sa daan? Ating alalahanin ang ilang alitintunin at traffic signs na kadalasan nakikita natin sa daan. Ang mga sumusunod ay tatlong uri ng mga traffic and road signs sa buong Pilipinas. Warning Informative At Regulatory Natatandaan niyo pa ba ang ilang batas at regulasyon sa trapiko? Ito ang mga sumusunod. National Motorcycle Helmet Law National Speed Limit Law National Seat Belt Law National Law on Mobile Phone Using While Driving National Drug Driving Law National Drink Driving Law at National Child Restraint Law Gumagamit ka ba ng cellphone? Kumakain? Nagbabasa? O anumang gawain na maaring makasagabal sa iyong pagmamaneho? Then you should stop that. Ayon sa Republic Act 10913, drivers, including pedicabs, bicycle, puliglig, tractors, cannot use mobile communication device to write, send, or read text-based communication or to make and receive calls and using an electronic equipment or computing device to play games, watch movies, surf the internet, compose messages, read e-books, perform calculation and other similar acts while driving or temporarily stop at a red light. The operation of communication device can be used provided it is hands-free, speaker phones, earphones, etc. Any placement of hands-free communication device should not interfere with the line of sight of the driver. Ang sino mang lumabag sa mga batas na ito ay papatawan ng multa o suspension ng driver's license. Isa pang mahalagang alituntunin ay ang Grab Anti-Harassment Policy. Our passengers ride with us because they trust that we can provide them with safe and convenient transportation. As such, we expect all drivers and passengers to behave appropriately and respect boundaries. Inappropriate behavior, especially sexual harassment, has no place in our platform. We should always treat each other with courtesy and avoid all forms of disrespect or harassment. Ano nga ba ang sexual harassment? Sexual harassment is a criminal offense in the Philippines. It may be in any form of verbal or physical act of sexual nature including but not limited to suggested comments or jokes, continuous personal advances or invitations, requests for sexual favors, unnecessary physical contact, spreading or displaying images with apparent sexual content. Action will be taken by Grab against user who do not abide by these rules. This includes suspension from our app. In addition, Grab will work with the authorities to seek support for the victims. 
ang sino mang maputunayang lumabag sa alituntuning na banggit ay papatawan ng karampatang parusa na naaayon sa Service Terms of Use. Paano nga ba makakaiwas sa hindi inaasahang reklamo galing sa ating mga pasahero? Be a professional grab driver. To prevent miscommunication, we encourage all users to be mindful of one another's privacy and personal space. When in doubt, we recommend that they do the following. Be professional. Iwasan gumamit ng bulgar at abusadong lingwahe sa paipag-usap o pagpapadala ng text. Respect privacy. Huwag mag-post o mag-share ng anumang impormasyon ng iyong pasahero sa anumang social media sites. All booking information are confidential. Hindi pinapahintulutan ang anumang uri ng komunikasyon matapos ang booking. Avoid causing unnecessary alarms. Sundin ang GPS. At siguraduhin tago ang mga bagay na maaaring pagmula ng pagdududa na maaaring pagmula ng takot ng ating pasahero. For example, deadly weapons, any identifications that might cause passengers to think that you own a gun, spray bottles, at iba pa. The Golden Rule, No Physical Contact. Remember, seek safety, aim safety, follow safety, ensure safety, teach safety, and yield safety.